Don't let society make you feel like just because you are a single parent that you're incapable of doing things. What's up everybody and welcome back for another episode of Mingle with Brown. I wanted to talk about something that's serious that happens to a lot of people. And I've been seeing videos come on my page, you know, about women that may be struggling or going through the struggle and things of that nature. For the women out there who are transitioning from being married to being single, this this video right here is for you because a lot of times when you are dependent and then you have to transition into becoming independent you have nowhere or no clue how to start right you're just broken especially if you were a woman that has never worked you were a housemaker stay-at-home mom or wife i don't know if people still doing it like that but that was my story and honestly, before I married my husband, I had never worked. Uh, I played sports. So I had zero job experience and I didn't finish college. So it was just crazy. I felt like, damn, what am I gonna do? But to the mom out there that just feels like she's lost and doesn't know who she is outside of her spouse and kids, I understand. But now is the time for you to kick into overdrive and figure out how you're gonna get from point A to point B. So what you need to do is first come up with a plan. What is your plan for getting out of your situation? Whether it be, okay, I may need to find a job first, whether it be if you are in an unsafe situation, do you have family that you could live with? But first things first is come up with a plan. Second thing you need to do is write down your plan and actually get a journal. I remember when I first left, I had to have a journal because I was extremely emotional. It was a lot of crying. I had a failed marriage. Um, my daughter was little. There was a lot of, oh my God, my daughter won't be able to see her dad. Uh, just a lot of uncertainty. So you are going to need something, preferably a journal that you can write in so that you can remember what you're going through emotionally as well as so that you can remember all of the things that you need to do. Um, the next thing that I would say is once you come up with your plan and write down what it is that you may have to do, I would also recommend you having a praying relationship. Now this isn't in any certain order. When you when we talking about prayer, prayer can go at the front, in the middle, in the back. We need prayer and covering and a hedge of protection around you, the family, and the kids, right? So third thing is to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Because you don't know. You're lost, right? You don't you don't have all the answers. You don't you don't have a clue what to do. So the only the only answer is gonna come from God. You're of course you're gonna have distractions, people in your ear. But, you know, you still need to hear from him. So, you're going to come up with the plan. You're going to get a journal to write down the plan. Then you are going to make sure that you have a praying. The next thing that you are going to do is take a look. Take a look at yourself and think, hmm, what is it that I know how to do? What is it that I wanna do? So if you've never worked before, what is it that you wanna do? And what are you good at? Start writing down a list of things that you are good at and what you maybe once was interested in because I'm pretty sure if now you're a wife and have kids, you probably forgot about yourself. We all do. We all forget once we get the ball rolling of becoming somebody else's wife or somebody else's spouse, we kind of forget about the dreams and the visions that we, we once had unless we are with a partner that collectively wants to grow together and you know wants to help you with your visions right so you need to try to figure out what are your skill sets what are you good at outside of being a good wife what are you good at outside of being a mother so you want to take a look at yourself and write down some of those things right so the next thing that you will have to do depending on the age of your kids you may have to have a talk with your kids. 
as well as well as yourself you need to set a boundary right here and right now with who what when where and how you are going to handle yourself so if you going through a divorce or a separation and your feelings all crazy and stuff like that you may want to set some boundaries so you know so you're not just having people coming in all willy-nilly and then you digging yourself in a deeper hole and getting yourself in more and more trouble correct so figure it out what it is that you want set some boundaries give yourself some discipline because if you don't have discipline you could easily get distracted and fall off the course that you are trying to be on set boundaries get some discipline with you and stick to it there's a lot of other things but i'm just trying to come up with these quick little videos where i can give some gems on what to do when you are transitioning um, from being in a relationship or with a spouse to becoming a independent woman or an independent parent or whatever you want to call it so I will try to come out with more of these as I think about it because you know sometimes some people are lost you go through situations some people get embarrassed they don't have nobody to talk to they don't want anybody to know and a lot of people will suffer in silence and that's not what we want to happen you will be able to transition and move forward it may seem like a lot to do but you'll be able to you'll be able to trust me at one point i didn't think that I would be able to survive without my ex or I didn't think that I would be able to figure it out or know what to do but here I am years later and my daughter is fine she's always been thriving she's always been a great kid and it's not the end of the world you know society makes single moms feel like oh your child will be missing out on so much if they don't have their father and I get it but at the same time it's like there's a lot of families who have a father that lives right there in the home and he's absent there's a lot of married single moms already so for the mom out there who's stressing because she feel like my child is gonna miss out my child will have less than no your child is not it's all about you and what you could provide for that child if a child has a active father in their life that's great my bad my camera had died and i got home put the camera on the charger and completely forgot to come back on to talk but i believe where i left off was if you have a father in your life, that's great. I mean, there's a lot that comes with being able to grow up with having your father there. And to me, it all depends on a man because like I said, there are a lot of fathers who are in the home, but they're not active. Like back in the old days, a lot of times dads only worked and they came home and they went to sleep. So there wasn't really much that they were doing, but in today's times, there are a lot more fathers that are hands-on which can be very beneficial to the household and for the child my whole point is is that even if there isn't a father in the home that should not be the mom's main focus okay so now you're a single mom you know what you need to be focused on is what you can do for your child what you can do to make sure that they never feel a lack but if you the mom is sitting around feeling like woe is me i'm the victim my child is missing out you're, you're gonna be so busy daydreaming sleep depressed or whatever it is that's gonna cause you to just sit and think to where you're not giving your child that time that they may possibly need from you love is enough whether it comes from mommy whether it comes from daddy 
whether it comes from auntie, whether it comes from a teacher, whether it comes from anybody else. Love is enough. All you have to do is give it. So if the dad isn't already there, and then the one parent who is there decides not to give their child love, care, and nurturing, then that's when it becomes a problem. But if you are still there with your child and it's just you, you take on your responsibility and raise your child to be the best that they can be, that's enough, you're fine. I know it may not seem like it, but trust me, there are a lot of successful people who do great things in the world who came from single parent households. Don't let society make you feel like just because you are a single parent that you're incapable of doing things or just because you're a single parent, you're incapable of raising great children. Don't put those limitations on you because just because it's you by yourself raising a child, it doesn't mean that you can't do the same things that parents are doing and married households are doing. It may financially be a little look a little different or be a little harder, but there are a lot of single parents out there, single fathers or single mothers that do a damn good job. So don't get caught up in what social media is saying about single mom. Yeah, some of them single moms, that those are those, but that's not your story. If you don't want your story to look like that, don't make that your story. You can't put all single mothers in a box because there are some single moms who are gainfully employed making hella money and don't need a man or his money for nothing. And there are single moms who have a great support system that most marriages don't even have. And it's two of them. So it's all about how you make your family. Don't let society and the world and podcasts and other people tell you what your family should look like. Long as you are ready to apply yourself in your position as a mom or as a father, that is a great start and everything that it requires for you to be a parent is gonna take time patience and love and you're gonna always be learning but it's up to you to write that story of what motherhood will look like it's up to you to write that story on what fatherhood will look like but again, I don't want to take all of y'all's time. Again, like I said, my my camera had died yesterday and I was supposed to get back on. I'm actually about to get ready to head into work. I hope this video made sense because it's just, it's just a lot of what I be seeing going on in the world. And I don't know if the right advice is being given. I don't know if the advice is coming from a good place a lot of the times. And I know even for me, my delivery is very direct and it's very, you got this, because that's what I believe. You know, if you're gonna come to me, come to my channel, listen to my advice, it's already coming from a place of you will succeed. You know that you will be all right and you are at the place where you know that you will succeed, you just need to organize and try to figure out a plan and a path, this is the right place for you to be. Hope that you get what you need out of the message. I hope that we can all continue to build a community of strong moms who want to be of help to each other. You know, we're here to educate, entertain, and inspire.